So when I first started working with Susan, um, the agency was quite small at the time. I think we had about 13 employees. We had a couple of computers. Um, all the match support specialist and the enrollment specialist did everything by hand, all handwritten notes and files. Um, when Susan came in, she really created a culture of community within the staff. She was an exceptionally hard worker, and I think she modeled for everybody to try their best. So there was an occasion when I was meeting with Susan, and she told me that I needed to toughen up and get tougher skin. If I was going to be in management, that was going to be important. So I developed a new motto, and it's Toughen Up Cupcake. <laughs> The number of children served over her tenure certainly increased and our budget certainly increased um, with funding from JWB and a lot of the other funders and she brought in different events with other sponsors um, doing a lot of other things so it really the agency grew all the way around and really helped the children of Pinellas County. She's a lot of fun. She loves to play golf. She's got a lot of golf friends all over. She, uh, she's never, she always wants to get an A in everything. She always says that. It's so funny. So even when she goes to yoga class or working out or, or paddle boarding, she and I paddle board a lot together, she wants to do the best. She um, was somebody that you could go to and talk to about work issues or personal issues. Whatever you needed, she was, she was always available. We went through kind of a difficult time in 2007 where our office um, had a huge flood. There was a leak in the ceiling that ended up putting a ton of water throughout the entire building and um, that caused us to have to re be relocated to a temporary space while everything was gutted and rebuilt. And um, during that time, we also had a lot of um, a lot of goals still sitting on our shoulders, even though we really didn't have a place to live. Um, but with Susan's leadership, we we successfully made it through. So one year for Susan's birthday, um, the department head team decided to get her a singing telegraph, and it just happened to be a gentleman dressed as a pink gorilla who came into the office on a day that there happened to be a tropical st storm rolling through and he proceeded to sing and dance with Susan and we all celebrated her birthday in the office. Um, it was a surprise to say the least. It was hilarious and I do believe we have some pictures floating around of that as well. <laughs> I took over as board chair for Pinellas County, I think it was in the beginning of 2014. And, you know, I think it was within a month of taking over as board chair, Susan came to me and said, hey, I'm announcing my retirement. So that was quite the uh, eventful time for me and for Susan. So I was very excited for her. She had had a wonderful career and she was really looking forward to a great opportunity to go forward and retire and, and, and enjoy herself. Um, so, but Susan helped me navigate through that process of making the decision, you know, what was the best thing for, you know, the Pinellas County Agency, what was the best thing for the entire Tampa Bay region. We spent a lot of time talking about that. She ultimately introduced me to Stephen, and Stephen and I got along really well, and the three of us spent a lot of time talking about, did this make sense? Was this a situation where, you know, one plus one would be more than two? And, you know, at the end of the day, Susan helped guide the overall merger process. I think her legacy, and this is what you know, probably struck me the most when I got into the board, is um, you know, she was more focused on the quality of the delivery of the service to the kids and the mentors, and making sure those relationships were as strong and productive on both sides as possible. You know, she wanted to serve as many kids as possible, but more importantly, she wanted to make sure the ones we did serve had a phenomenal experience. Over.
you know, was looking for something to do with myself, I guess. You know, I was just so bored and angry all the time. And when she came into my life, it just made me so much happier. I had someone that actually wanted to spend time with me and do things with me and take me and do, like, to, to places to get away from all the depressing and sadness. I was way happier. Um, I, my, like she greatly affected my schoolwork and stuff like that, and helped me so much, like way more than my teachers ever could. Probably just want to hug her and say thank you for everything she's done for me and looking out for me when she could and just being there for me when no one else could.